Oh, what is up you guys? It is your girl Kiera. Uh, welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome if you aren't. So you guys, for today's video, we will be talking about some possible uh, big updates coming into Berry Avenue. These updates can happen at any point. They can happen in five years from now. They can happen tomorrow. They can happen next year. They can happen literally any time from now. There is no like time frame or time stamp for when these updates will be coming out. Let's go ahead and look on some uh, big Berry Avenue updates that that have a possibility of coming into the game and of course those updates will consist of a mall update, a pet update, build one update, and also a fast food restaurant. So of course if this is something that interests you guys be sure to keep on watching. The first update that we will be looking at is the mall update and you guys this one has been requested for such a long time so I already know that when this update comes out it's gonna be so huge so exciting. I'm not sure if they would do an actual like building of a mall or like an extended version of the current plaza that we have. I think there would be a mini map revamp because of course we would have a new building on the map. This mall would benefit both solo and and family role plays you guys well, what I mean by this is that the shopping mall would have uh, so many things to do so many locations to shop at eat at like do things at I'm talking things like back to school shopping Christmas parties birthday parties Christmas shopping and also just going to shop at the mall every single day you guys I have a ton of videos on my channel about the Berry Avenue Sephora update and the Berry Avenue mall update which I get into like details in those videos so be sure to check those videos out. This mall would bring in a lot of opportunity for Berry Avenue and I do believe that the mall would have the most traffic in this game as well. Within the mall and stuff we can even have things like a mini coffee house just like the airport. We can have a mini juice and smoothies. We'll have access to a food court so this mall is honestly going to carry the most traffic in the Berry Avenue game you guys. I just already know. Number two you guys is the location and you guys already you know that I've actually talked about this on my channel a lot of times but I want to talk about something else again you guys because I usually I use uh, this building over here in my thumbnails and I think the main reason why I actually use this building is because it is different and unique from all of the other buildings on the map or all the other empty buildings on the map we have like this like underground kind of thing going on but also uh, this building is close enough to where all of the traffic is happening this is option number one also in my comment section I had a suggestion for the shopping mall to be a by the moonlight building or for it to just like be like literally right here and honestly that is not a bad idea at all I'm not sure how many people use the moonlight building but I actually have a video on my channel when this update it did come out you guys I was a uh, freaking out I think like some new houses I think we had like two new houses and then the moonlight building came out as well you guys as I said I did get a comment comment regarding the shopping mall to be in this location over here it is close like where all of the traffic is I feel like from this side all the way to like over here is like where most of the people role play and like use the map and things like that even with the airport being all the way down there anyways so yeah you guys like let's just talk about if the mall was right here although that this is a big spot and a big building I do believe that we would have to extend this out a bit because there is no parking over here and a shopping mall would have like parking that is almost like over here like I'm picturing like this kind of parking over here and I'm gonna get into this area like really soon also it's right here we have a lot of parking and also from the airport update they did introduce to us some parallel parking so if like a huge parking lot is not able to actually you know happen for the first couple updates of the mall then maybe actually using parallel parking spots might actually help out as well so I'm picturing a some kind of parking going around or along the building we already have three floors right here we are only able to access on one floor but on the outside it does show at two floors um and yeah it's literally right by the spawn you know and it is a huge building as well so that is option number two when it does come down to a location that is already like in the game without expansion and things like that for option number three I recently started talking about this in my latest videos and I was actually thinking about making this whole thing right here a shopping mall and the main thing that actually like kind of led me to do this is because of these two like empty spots over here you guys if they 
don't make this a shopping mall. I do feel like having this empty area over here as a Sephora would be so much fun, you guys. Having a Sephora right by the daycare, you guys. Oh my goodness, the amount of Sephora kits, honey. Woo, chow. The main reason why I kind of choose this location is because this is the food market. There is a huge parking lot. You have your kids right there. So if you want to go shopping and then I take your kids to the daycare right after, it is going to work out perfectly. We also have the gas station right here as well. Also, if you have an electric car, you can like kind of park your car right here. Go shopping at the Berry Avenue Shopping Mall. And yeah, you guys. So it'd be really fun. And I feel like in the shopping mall, we could have access to another food market. I really do like this food market though. I would say like they have been upgrading it a lot lately. So we actually have packaged produce now. So that is very cute you guys but yeah that is like what I have to say about the locations those are like three main like location ideas the next thing that I want to talk about is the fact that this mall update is going to be another big update you guys so that actually means that the possibility of us getting a, a shopping mall right away or anytime soon is a bit slim but trust me you guys I think it might be in the works so mostly because of the fact that Barry Avenue and their team Team is really really good you guys like extremely good with updates and update suggestions like how they handle things and things like that we have been getting a lot of updates in the airport which I've talked about in my last video that since we have been getting a lot of updates off of the main map that means that we're getting even closer to getting some kind of new building or just something new on the actual Barry Avenue map you guys so that is very exciting um that could be a new house that could maybe be up Dates to the buildings that we already have you guys the possibilities are endless when it comes down to Barry Avenue and their team since this is a big Barry Avenue update we can expect hints and teasers like how we did for our airport update over here you see how for the Barry Avenue airport update we had planes flying in the sky I think we still have them you guys I honestly have not heard a plane in a while but yeah um see how we have like the airplanes flying in the sky you guys what I was thinking is that that wherever the location of the shopping mall will be there would be a dedicated construction site in that area so if the shopping mall were to be over here by moonlight you guys the moonlight building would be like down like there would be like wood all over the place there would be like dirt there would be like traffic cones and things like that um to kind of show that like oh this might be a mall and then maybe having a like a billboard or a sign on the thing as well on the the construction site saying like oh shopping mall coming soon boom 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 we can also have things like um construction machines that's what I kind of expect the whole shopping mall update to go the second update I want to talk about is going to be the pet update you guys and this one has been having a lot of talk a lot of attention lately because of one of the latest Berry Avenue updates which of course was the LA airport location update slash Sephora update so if we look behind me you guys we have a cat tree in the LA penthouse apartments and we also have another pet bed over here the first thing that we can't expect from this update is obviously realistic features and what I mean by realistic features is taking your pets on walks giving them toys to do tricks giving them food and water and all of those kind of things so just like the basic needs and the basic things that a pet would usually do of course this would vary from each pet like if you have a fish obviously you won't go and take your fish out on a walk but if you have like a dog and stuff like that like you would be able to actually take your dog out on a walk and treat them and give them treats and toys and all of those kind of things. There is a wide variety of pets that we can't expect in the game. Maybe even like snakes and like cats and dogs and fishes. There's just a wide variety of pets that we can't expect to actually come into Barry Avenue if this update does come out. Of course, if a pet update does come out to Barry Avenue, we need a pet store. And when I think about a pet store in Barry Avenue, I think about like a really huge pet store that has everything. A pet store that would carry things like food, accessories, toys. You can buy pets there. You can sell pets. You can trade pets. Like literally everything would be hold in that store. So of course there would be like fish food. There would be maybe snake food. There would be dog food, cat food. Also even cages and tanks and like car seats for your pets. Like if you want to put your pets in your car, you would be able to actually put your pets in the car and then there would be a car seat 
seat that shows up in the back seats you guys just like the whole baby feature it would be kind of like that but for pets and like dogs and cats and snakes also toys you guys I feel like the toys would be so much fun because they would probably make like actual real sounds the dog toys would have like a more like squishier kind of sound maybe some of the toys might like rattle and shake we can't expect like toys and a whole category dedicated to like pet toys so that would be like extremely fun and then also the accessories can be like leashes we can have cages as I talked about even clothes to dress up your pets if you want to as well of course the collars where you can name your pets oh my goodness you guys that would be a literally so much fun being able to customize your pets to your liking I don't know if there's gonna be too many like animal pets but I'm pretty sure there would be more so like household pets like fishes dogs cats maybe like a lizard is that a household pet I'm not even sure you guys but you know the normal household pets that you would see like in a day-to-day -day, like the last thing that I want to talk about is a house setting made just for pets so this would be a house mode that is basically the same as the baby mode that we currently do have in Barry Avenue right now so currently in Barry Avenue you are able to go into your house settings and toggle the baby menu which means that there'd be like a baby playpen or there'd be baby cribs baby changing tables if we think about it the same way for pets it would kind of you know go along the same way as well so I'm actually going to head in to a house put it on the baby menu and let's see some things that pop up and how we can compare it to the pet update if one were to come out into Barry Avenue so this is the new house in Barry Avenue this is what the house looks like before it is just like a family kind of house so there aren't any like baby things going on right now so this is the before of the house before I like actually add on the baby like items and stuff I'm gonna give you guys like a really good look there is a, a baby room in here so maybe we might start getting some like pet rooms as well I'm not sure you guys but that'd be like really cool so yeah this is the house without the baby mode and now I'm going to go ahead and put on the baby mode to show you guys the uh, huge difference I'm gonna head into house and I'm gonna put it on a baby and now let's see the differences and the changes that we have going on oh my goodness you guys I already see some okay so here we have the high chair um here we have like the little playpen area so maybe like this can be like a playpen area for like a dog or even have like a dog bed like in the corners of the house or something so yeah this is honestly a really cute playpen or like a little cute like mat area this is so cute but we have uh, these things already going on in here I'm gonna continue looking around the house where is the crib <gasps> here it is so once again uh, this is a crib right here so maybe this can be a, a dog bed if there were to be a pet update in Barry Avenue we would probably have like the feeding station somewhere over here so like a pet bowl and the water somewhere over here so when you would put on the like pet mode in your house that is like the changes that would happen um let's head upstairs oh where's the changing table in this house you guys i'm honestly not sure it might be in the hallway here we already have a changing table in here but i think that there might be another one i'm not sure though but yeah you guys this is the house after the pet mode and I'm not seeing a second changing table, I'm only seeing one, but most of the changes and differences are down here, you guys. So this is like honestly so cool. The third update I will be talking about is going to be a build mode update coming into Barry Avenue. There are so many ways that this build mode feature can work in Barry Avenue. This is something that we do not have that much information on. Maybe you are able to just move furniture around in the actual house. Maybe you are able to actually color furniture. Maybe there will be a whole furniture furniture store maybe there will be like some kind of moving truck kind of system job delivery service firstly I'm going to go over a couple of things the best way that I can kind of see a build mode feature coming out into Barry Avenue is having the options to have your house either unfurnished or furnished so either having a furniture in your house or no furniture in your house at all for example if this house was unfurnished there would be absolutely no furniture in this room in this house like it would just be empty there would be no nightstands there would be no beds no pitches like none of that the only thing that would be in here would be like the basics like the closets the built-in counters the showers the basic things but it would be pretty realistic like a full-on like move-in house ready kind of thing of course you would have like your toilets would have your full-on kitchen and stuff like that as well so that is how I kind of envision an unfurnished house in Barry Avenue also I don't think that these small details would 
would be included in the houses either. I think you would actually be able to actually pick like whatever jars and colors and shapes you want. For the appliances, there might be appliances available, there might not be. And then of course for the backyard, things would be empty as well. And the pool would still be here. That would be an unfurnished house in a Berry Avenue if that update were to come out. And of course, if we're gonna have a build mode update and a empty house, we are going to need a furniture store and a place to actually gather up our furniture. So that way, I do believe that there would be some kind of like delivery service or a furniture store or just some place where you can actually get your furniture from. Rather that be like a whole inventory section or just something, child, just something that you can use to actually like fully decorate your houses and things like that in Berry Avenue. So it would have things like maybe curtains, it would have like plants, rugs, um, different things like that, you know, like books, couches. And it comes down to actually decorating and designing the interior of your house keep in mind I really have not talked about the exterior of your houses in a Berry Avenue because I just don't know how that would work out if I'm being honest I don't think that we would have the option to delete the walls I feel like it would mostly be like an interior thing kind of going on like emptiness inside of the houses but maybe like being able to actually add on bricks or change the texture of your walls outside and the colors of your walls outside is probably what is most likely to actually come into it the game. There is a, a really high chance of you being able to uh, move the furnitures and things like that. So being able to move your washers and dryers and your vacuums and your couches and also uh, being able to color them and change the texture of them as well. Say that this book over here on the table, like you want to move it over to the dining room table. There'd be some kind of like a coding function where you're able to actually pick up the books and drag them over to this dining table over here or wherever else in the house that you may want. As you guys know, I am a lover when it comes down to the Berry Avenue houses as it is. Do I see myself personally using the Berry Avenue builds mode feature if it were to come out? No, I don't really see myself using it like that. You know, for like little things, it would be nice to be able to move a couple of things. I feel like that is the only like feature that I myself would really like interact with. Other than that, you guys, I can't think of something that I would like to change in the Berry Avenue houses. And for the last update that I will be touching base on is going to be a fast food restaurant update. This restaurant can be on the main Berry Avenue map or even an airport location map. One. Number one you guys, we should be expecting to have a drive through alright? I feel like if we are going to have a fast food industry a drive through is going to be like the main priority, like we are going to need that drive through As I have been mentioning throughout my videos, the uh, Berry Avenue map has like it's just really capable of expanding and honestly like when I think about a fast food restaurant or industry I kind of think about it being like somewhere around this area. They have the daycare and the school and everything just like around this area so maybe you're like gonna get your toddler or baby from the uh from the daycare. <laughs> then you come home from like high school then you have like the elementary school so I feel like if there were to be a fast food industry it would be like located somewhere between the supermarket market and the elementary school all right you guys that's just like me thinking i don't know if it's going to most definitely be that way also since there is like some grass area over here we could think about it being beside the coffee house as well the only thing that we need to think about is the space because of this will be a drive-through area so that means that the road would actually have to continue out some more so if we head over to like the area where the airport is you guys there is a whole like roundabout the roundabout kind of helps like all the roads can next like from the main roads over to the airports this is the roundabout and it plays a really big part in keeping all of the roads connected so I uh, kind of think of it as like a, this is like the main road and then when we do want to turn in it to the McDonald's for example we would like kind of turn into here and then this would be the little lane for the drive through that's why the placement of the fast food restaurant really does matter because there will be a drive in part which means that the main road would have to connect to the actual restaurant it's not gonna be by itself there would have to be some kind of like relations towards the main roads and the off roads. Also, I was thinking about it and like instead of having one lane, maybe we can have two lanes because I know that as soon as this fast food update does come out, there's probably going to be a lot of people in that location and having one fast food line might be a lot. So maybe having two lanes would be really cool as well. So yes, you guys, that'd be really nice and stuff. I'm already in my car ready for this uh, fast food location and when it does come down to actually order
ordering your food it would be like Paris we were able to interact with an NPC and um, the whole like menu would, like pop up you would be able to like scroll through the menu see what you want get as many things as you want and then a drive off that'd be the same system that would work for both the drive-through and the actual restaurant so so excited you guys that'd be so cute for number two I want to go ahead and talk about the foods all right because I just took it in you guys we don't have french fries we do have hamburgers we have hot dogs we have a lot of cute pastries in Paris when you do go through the airport you can get access to a lot of different foods that are not on the actual Berry Avenue map you guys so keep that in mind y'all but yeah we have a lot of like fancy foods in Paris and more like simpler foods in the actual map so with that being said you guys that these updates always bring on something new or something big and new features and things like that so this fast food industry would be able to bring on things like maybe salads maybe fries wraps maybe even like kids meals like happy meals I would actually use the actual toys that we already got from our past updates if I had on to toys you guys if I had on to toys and maybe in the happy meal you might get the berry plushie which is very cute you guys maybe in your happy meal you might get like a mini one of these berry plushies and then your kid would be able to play with it and then you might even get like some barbie dolls and other things like that so we have like barbie dolls over here as well that like you might be able to get in your happy meal so so cute you guys a happy meal would have like a smaller drink or smaller fries maybe like less food and stuff and then there would be like the actual meal and like adult foods and things like that so 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 exciting guys so we can expect to get new foods in berry avenue from the fast food update next up on my list that i want to talk about a new jobs all right so there's not that many jobs that it can bring on because there's probably going to be any NPCs involved in this update there would probably be like three to two new jobs that we can't expect from this update one being a janitor you guys I don't think we have a janitor job so we can't expect to be like a janitor like in the food industry of course a cash register a drive through worker if there is going to be like NPCs they would probably work where like the cashier and the uh, drive through worker is going to be but yeah it would be like really fun to you know kind of be able to like switch out from NPCs to like actual players I feel like it is good to actually use NPCs so that things can go smoothly and you can kind of just keep things going like no arguments no none of that and always keep the customers happy chat for number four I have a play place all right so we do have like a mini park in Berry Avenue we don't have slides or anything like that in some of our houses we do have pools and stuff but the only like I don't know like activity thing we have is this like park you guys it is like open space it is a forest and like a camping site and just like everything is just so cute and colorful maybe within this McDonald's we can have a play place inside of the McDonald's like a whole separate area just for the kids or maybe even outside of the McDonald's we can expect things like maybe trampolines and slides and maybe like a playhouse and then also our kids would be able to like drive the little mini cars that we do have in Berry Avenue as well oh so cute you guys so that'd be really cool as well there might be like a couple like tables and chairs inside not too much but a little place for like the parents and things like that so that they can go ahead and watch their kids as they play and that way your kids will be able to make new friends and you would be able to like meet new families and things like that because your kids are always going to want to go to McDonald's and things like that so very cool you guys very cute the last thing up on my list is a, a delivery service so I honestly don't know how this would exactly work I do feel like it would get used quite a bit though in Berry Avenue especially if it does come along with the fast food restaurant update um so yeah a whole delivery service would be so much fun once again I'm not sure if there's going to be an NPC kind of system that works with this or if it would be like actual players if it is not an NPC service then we would actually be able to like go to people's houses to deliver this deliver that I'm not sure if you guys remember the Kroger's mini game that we did have but we did have like a mini like delivery service for like groceries and stuff in Berry Avenue and we actually did that ourselves like we drove the trucks and did that ourselves so I'm just not sure how it would work going to like actual people's houses so there might be like some NPCs up in there but maybe like we can have like NPCs like actually driving on the road as 
as well just to like kind of make things more realistic but yeah you guys a delivery service would be so so much fun we really don't have to wait on the update to get a delivery service all we have to do is customize our cards to look like uber eats or like doordash and stuff like that and then we would like head over to uh, people's houses and just like hand out food that we already have in our food items so if i head over to items and i head over to food we already have things over here maybe some people went ahead and ordered things from coffee house so you would like be able to like actually get your items and then like go to the person's house and like give them their food you can actually give people tools in the game so if i want to spawn this house then i'd like come up here and then y'all this would be so fun to do in a role play but you would come here and then you like ring the doorbell and then you like actually give people their food you guys so yeah once again i don't know too much about like the whole delivery service that would be a lot i would consider that to be kind of like a bigger update as well you guys because these things are big they are major they're gonna like make a big indent into the actual game but you guys that is the ending of today's video i I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did let a girl know by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one also comment down below which one of these updates would you guys want to see the most in berry avenue thank you guys so much for watching i will be seeing all of you guys in my next one bye people